my body. All right, so here's the thing. Cruz is exceptionally good at tricks. He loves to do tricks, and he learns the tricks. Like as soon as we show him how to do a trick, he'll learn how to do it. He, he does so fantastic with tricks. But with every dog, there's a trick or two that, that they just have an aversion to, that they don't want to do. And this Snoot Challenge was his trick that he just, he didn't want to learn it. He didn't want to do it. Yeah. What's the matter? You want to? Come here. Come here, Bruce. Come here. Uh, he's very obedient, and he knew what we wanted out of him. He, he knew what he was supposed to be doing. He sees the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> he knew what we were we wanted from him. He knew what he was supposed to be doing, but he just didn't want to do it. So this is our adventure on teaching him how to do the snoot challenge. Right Come get it. No 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 no. Oh. Uh -oh. No, you gotta, you gotta do it. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Hurry. Come on. Here. Here. Hi. Good, Good boy. boy. Yeah. There you go. We tried to teach him how to do the trick like we teach him how to do every other trick that we've, we've learned with. Oh no, 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 no! You don't chase no rabbits. Hey. Hey. So at first we tried to teach him the snoot challenge the way we teach him to do every other trick. We just tell him to do it and he does it. You know, and we explain to him what we wanted and by, by showing him, by doing it, and then telling him to do it and saying the word snoot, snoot, over and over. But we figured out that he has a real aversion to it. Now we knew this because when we go to put his collar on him to go places, I don't want to see the B-Y-E word, but when we do that, he goes nuts and he really, really, he wants to, he wants to put it on. He wants you to put the collar on him so he can go, but he just doesn't want to put his head through there. So something, we didn't get him from a puppy. So at some point in his life, we believe something's happened that's made him have a real aversion to putting his head into things like that. And I can imagine that. Maybe it's just a natural aversion. I don't want to stick my head in a noose. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trick we're going to call Snoot now. He, he did it, but he too. <laughs> you know, so he has this aversion to putting his head in things like that. So we have to work around that and we have to overcome that. We're going to do gradual ways, gradual methods, and to ease him into it. And we're going to have to bribe him with treats at first. Now, I use some treats for these tricks just to show you because he's he's been through a little bit of, you know, learning trauma with the, the other. So I wanted him to have some good treats for these tricks, but he doesn't have to have treats to do his tricks. He does them anyway. And he's just the praise of being a good boy is enough. So in the end, uh, the snoot challenge was a success. He, he learned it just fine. Just took a little coaxing, some treats, some patience, you know, some patience. Even though he knew what we wanted, and he understood quickly, which is, is the, I think is the biggest hurdle for learning most treats for really any dog, is that they understand what you want. This time, the hurdle was an aversion to the trick. He just didn't want to do it. So we had to overcome that and show him it was safe and that it was a happy, good thing when he did it. Okay, snoot. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy.